Greetings, Church. Uh, it's Kevin Duclaron. Today is uh, Friday, the 29th of January, 2021. I am sitting right now at the um, the park. Not the park. What am I saying? I'm sitting here at the um, Lloyd Center Mall, and uh, just show you the mall real quickly. I am way over here. Uh, I'm the last. Uh, I am the last uh, table, and I'm having some lunch chicken and some pizza that I just bought at the 7-Eleven. The chicken I've had it for like four days, three or four days from my KFC. And um, earlier today I was at the uh, um, police department and I was trying to file a report because someone broke uh, a second pole. Um, you know how each tent has two poles that you pull out uh, to, to put it together. Well, the first pole um, a couple days ago was broken and an officer helped me fix it. Um, the second pole was broken last night, um, and I went there at 8.45 this morning to file the report, but uh, the police department um, told me to wait, so I waited an hour, over an hour for the police uh, in, the, uh, in the department, about 10, 10, 10, 10 10.15 or so. I called uh, the non-emergency again, and um, I, didn't, I had to wait for another 15, 20 minutes for them to respond uh, to the call. So I didn't get to talk to them for until like 10:30. Uh, then I waited for them outside, and um, all the time that I was waiting for them, um, the first time, the first hour, uh, this is the, this is what I had given to them. Um, I spoke to them in English tongue uh, about a bunch of different things, and then this I took outside and I preached to them this gospel here: uh, Portland, repent now, believe now, be reconciled to God, accept Jesus as Lord, and you will receive the Holy Spirit and be saved. And, so, and to the church that was there, or if there were any members of the church, I asked them for change uh, for coffee. I didn't get any. And of course, while I was pre preaching, I preached from about 10, uh, 10.30, 10, 10.45 till about 12, 12.05, 12.10. I was waiting for the police to come to file a report, but nobody showed up. Um, they came into, last night I tried to take a bath at um, a Morrison shower place. And uh, it's directly under the Morrison Bridge. Uh, they had no cold, no hot water. It was all cold, so I left there. Uh, there was really no altercation, except for there might have been a couple of representatives. Uh, one Spanish, I thought, might be representing uh, either Gabriel or the Queen. And she was like, you know, so I, I thought, okay. <laughs> I later on got hit in the tent. They broke the pole. They had sex with my body, I think. And because um, it felt that way, they pierced my feet. Uh, they hit the tent about 6.30 or so. They came and they hit, literally, hit it. Um, and uh, when I raised my voice to ask what it was, uh, it was a woman who answered. They hit the tent again and it was a male. We got into a short altercation and then he threatened that he was going to burn down the tent. He was going to come back. Um, later on, when I was outside the tent trying to fold everything, um, they sent another uh, a female, a white female, to walk by and she stomped her feet and I thought, whoa, and she, she spat. Um, then a white guy walked behind her, tall, slim, long hair, you know, sort of like a Jesus representative. Then they sent an African-American with a knife longer than this, okay? It was one of those big, huge hunter knives. Um, and he ran up to me and he's like, uh, okay, so what's going on here? And I was like, I don't know. I moved away from him. Um, I'm not sure who sent him or why, but it was pretty... Um, I was kind of startled by the whole thing, you know. Then I went down to the police department. Um, they had a, a man, a white guy, sitting there with his face covered, you know, like, you know how you have, like, one of those real long zippers cover his face? This whole thing was covered, and I thought, okay, I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is at the Lawndale Park bathroom. Um, so then I went in and, and sat in the lobby and spoke to them um, on, until I called them, and the police department never showed up. Uh, and then I went back in after the sermon, and they gave me tape to tape up the, the tent, and that was it. So I had a um, pretty lengthy message. Um, I had read several passages of the Bible um, while I was in the lobby for an hour. Um, I think some of the passages that I read, I wrote down some of the things. I had prayed this morning after I was hit. I didn't know that I was hit. So I had prayed, and, um, and what I wrote, what I said to the Lord... What I prayed to the Lord was, um, and I think this is what pissed off Satan, is God take away the power of evil before it hurts another with evil. 
and uh, I said, God, uh, please uh, restore us back to our lives as we are, as we once were before we, uh, we were judged by evil. And so the devil didn't like me praying that and decided to judge me. Um, I read to them Philemon, 1 John 2, 15 through 19, 2 Peter, um, verse, I think 2 Peter 1, verse 17, uh, Matthew 17, 5, Matthew 16, 23, uh, Hebrews 9, 22 through 24, and 2 Corinthians 9, 5 through 15. They kept on, um, while they were walking by, they kept on insulting. So I had to have some form of response, and that was my response, and my own based on what they were saying as they were walking by. And they also came out on the intercom. Um, I think both Gabriel and John MacArthur were in the building. And um, anyway, um, I, I was supposed to keep this up to five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the, um, the computer now. And uh, you people keep me in your prayer and you have a great day.